Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hinterland. I am working on hitting our equipment. Figure why not start the morning off right with an accident. So, taking care of the animals. Water, food. Oh, you know, putting away the eggs. Collecting the, the wool from the sheep. Milk from the sheep. All that fun stuff. And was about to take care of the milk from the cows, and uh, yeah, decided I didn't really want to do that anymore with with the little tanker we have. I did get our oh, what did I get going? I got our silo king going, so we got uh, our silage um, sausage fermented completely late last month and got that unwrapped and threw some in the silage maker and got all that going so our cows hopefully will stay fed. I'm just dumping off what we had left in the silo king here for the cows. And I purchased a couple things. They didn't show up in the used market so I just said well I can't don't want to wait anymore. What are you doing little guy? Looks like we're all set to go there. So I bought us a couple of things, but before I do that... Oh, actually, I guess we're going straight to it. I picked up this uh, Fiat. It's in the uh, in-game mod hub. It's kind of a... It's an inexpensive truck. It's got, I think, like 230 horsepower. It should be plenty to pull this tanker around like i said gonna get a semi tanker for our milk it's just getting to be too much <clears throat> with that little tanker so we're gonna get that out of the way straight away and then i saw in the used market this cloth header that's about half off right now and i don't i think our current combine will handle this header i think it's definitely gonna push it to its limits but I think uh, I think it should handle it. If it doesn't, then we're going to work on upgrading our combine. Our fields are getting big enough now, and we need a little bit more. We need a little bit, uh, I'd say, more significant combine and head to uh, take care of them. So why don't we purchase that head? Pretty good size. We'll have to bring our combine over here. Let's see here. Where is our combine? Oh, it's right there. Let's grab our combine. Let's head to the shop. Let's um, let's measure it up first and see how things are going to look. I don't know if our pipe is going to be long enough. We may have to extend our pipe out a bit. I think, I think there's a customization for this cloth that will let us extend our pipe out a little bit more than it is. If not, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it that head oh that header's not going to fit in any of our sheds so we're probably going to have to leave that thing outside I've been contemplating putting down a bigger shed somewhere not entirely sure where I want to put it yet but we probably could use a much bigger shed somewhere if we're concerned about keeping stuff indoors Holy cow, this header is a lot bigger. <laughs> it's almost darn near twice the size. Okay. All right. Well. Heinrich, I guess I told you to get a big header and that's what you did. So can't blame you for that. Let's check this thing out and see if it'll even, if it'll hold it or if it's gonna make it tip forward because it weighs too much. And we'll check our pipe extension, see how that looks too. Oh yeah, she's got some weight, doesn't it? It's kind of lifting up the front end a bit, isn't it? That might be a bit of an issue.
interesting. All right, let's check out our pipe. See how much room we have here. Oh, that's plenty. That'll work just fine. Okay, so we don't have to worry about our pipe. I'm a little concerned about how this thing's more or less dragging on the ground. I guess the best way to figure this out, well, yeah. Probably not the best match. This combine might be just a touch too small for this thing. Oh, don't want to take out a fence. Oh yeah, if you if you thought I was accident prone before, <laughs> boy, yeah. This is going to get ugly. Let's um we've got a field ready for harvest, this wheat field, so let's put it to a test, I guess, see how it does. The one thing for sure is that it's going to fill up this combine a lot faster. I need a runner for this and we could use you know what I don't think yeah let's use we'll use the John Deere why not And we'll see if we can get it to do a little self-unloading for us, too, since we have a little bit of work to do. I think we're going to sell some clothing this month. Our clothing factory is... Our clothing factory is starting to fill up again, so... We're going to grab some pallets. I almost was tempted to go through there, and I remember there's no out... So we'll grab, uh, we'll get this field going. We'll see how this class is going to handle this, this new header. And um, if it doesn't, well, we've always got our clothing to sell. Last time we sold clothing, it was a pretty big bonanza. That's for sure. Uh, where do you want to be, Mr. John Deere? Should we just park you right here? We'll park you right here. I think that's as good as any. And we'll scooch over to the combine. And let's get a job going. Create some work. <coughs> Excuse me. We can do... I'd be tempted to say one headland is fine. But there is that little area with some trees over here that gets a little bit squirrely. So we'll do two headlands. I, I don't think we need to do sharp because I think I... Well, we'll do sharp up and down. I think I did rounded corners on this when I set it up, but... Either way... Uh, first waypoint... We should get a straw swath. Yeah, it looks like it's pushing it okay. I think 10 is about what we were getting with the other one, the smaller one. So unless we run into some odd problems, I think that'll do us fine. Do I have self-unloading? Activated. Very good. We'll hope for the best there. Next thing we want to do is grab a... Grab our cloths, and we'll go grab our trailer, our bale trailer, slash pallet trailer. I'm thinking we might as well sell our bale auto, our bale collector right there. I'm kind of thinking we might as well sell that. Uh, I've been using this auto load trailer for bales, and I quite like it, so... We might end up just selling our... I don't know, what is that? Is that an Anderson? I don't think it's the Anderson. The Arco something, something, something. I don't know what it is. Oh, boy. So I'm realizing that I thought I left plenty of room around our production facilities. I've been trying to... 
when I put them to, when I put them down, leave plenty of space around. When I put fences down, try to be conscious of the fact that you got to get a trailer and a tractor in there and stuff. I don't know if I've done a good enough job with that. How's our claws doing? Did it get stuck over there? What's our combine doing over there? Oh, no, it's... Oh, that's right. I had... Okay. I had sharp corners, so it does tend to stop and do its thing on the corners there. So I don't know. I may have to go in and make some adjustments. And with this milk trailer, there's a good likelihood we might have to make some adjustments. At the very least, you know, just expand parking lots a little bit. I think I left enough room in between the productions to be able to do that. May have to tear up some fencing and put some fencing back down, but we'll see how that all pans out. And then I was thinking, too, there's no way, there is no way a hired helper is going to get in here and navigate its way around this whole thing. So I don't know why I even try to send hired helpers or AI into these facilities to drop things off because they're they're going to hit they're going to hit a light pole. They're going to hit a rock. They're going to hit a fence. It's just not going to work. Auto drive, you'd probably get away with it because you can do your own courses, but I might consider doing that. I know I've talked a lot about doing auto drive, and I still might consider doing some auto drive in this thing. Just not sure if I want to deal with it yet or not. Where are we at? We're on square bales where that is obviously not correct. We want Euro pallets. You don't want to collect? Thank you. I don't really know how many we should sell. We'll sell a few. Uh, I'm assuming the country store is our best pricing. It usually is for this clothing. Uh, cakes, fabric, clothes. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, I better... Oh, it's still collecting it. Man, okay. Because we're talking... I think we had 80s... Boy, we had a lot in here. Where is our clothing? Here's our clothing. Yeah, we were at like 80,000 before we started grabbing some, so... There's a lot there to sell, once again. A lot of money to be made. Let's see what kind of cash, what kind of cash we can uh, bring in here. Of course, I, the more I put down, the more stuff that gets in the way. But I think we'll be all right here. Oh, you got to love that. You know, $425,000, just that easy. Pizza, sh <laughs> the people at the... <laughs> You're sitting outside eating eating a slice there on that picnic table and you see a giant class tractor coming right at you like that. That doesn't give you the best uh, eating experience, <laughs> does the best dining experience available. Uh, Mom, that tractor's uh, going to stop, right? Well, I don't know, honey. It's that bald dude driving it. I don't know if it's going to stop or not. He's got a history of accidents. I don't think I've taken out any pedestrians yet, though, so we got that going for us. Well, that's plenty of money if we need to do any kind of upgrades. Maybe even still pick up a better, um, bigger combine. We still might do that. Let me shut you off, Mr. Kloss. Let's grab... Let's grab our truck. I like this little Fiat. It's even got a little sleeper if I get tired on the road. <laughs> Why I would, but hey. All right. Does the front end bounce around? Does it have any kind of suspension on the front end? Doesn't really look like too much. That's one thing I like about these um, K 
cab over trucks is watching that front end just bouncing. Well, I am hoping that this makes a difference in, well, it's certainly going to make a difference in collecting milk. Hopefully I can get around where I need to get around to with it. That is some shiny metal on there. And actually we should be perfectly fine because I'm going to start, I am taking all the milk to, how do we open the lids here? There we go. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm taking all the milk to our milk distributor over there by the Sheepsters. Um, I'm not going to deliver milk anymore to the facilities because I don't really see the point to doing it. Um, that milk distributor will take care of distributing milk just as well, if not better. It'll evenly distribute it, which is kind of nice. If we're running really short at one facility for some reason or another, I guess I can make it a point to do that but this should definitely fill up our tanker I don't know what we had in here I don't know a hundred thousand liters of milk or so I don't think it's worth selling milk I think we're better off always using it for our production facilities and it doesn't see September and January are the big months I mean, we'd probably make some decent coin from selling it. But we definitely, I think, will be doing better. Oh, this has got some weight. Now I'm going to have to question whether I got enough horsepower. Oh, yeah, she's getting it. Okay. Gets out of those first three, four gears, and it finally kind of seems to get a hold. That's got to be a lot of weight in that tanker, though. 50,000 liters of milk. I'm not sure exactly what that, what a gallon of milk weighs, but it's got to be more than water, right? What, a gallon of water is 8 pounds, some, something like that? I don't know. I don't convert gallons to liters very well. It's got to be a load, though. Plus the sloshing effect. All right, um, I've got it set up for left. We can do back, too. It might be easier. I don't think I can get close enough this way. This milk forwarder should hold quite a bit of milk. Let's switch this to back. Let's see if I can get away with backing this thing in there. <laughs> this, little, this little truck is owning it. Please, 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 milk symbol, please, overload, please. Oh, you know what? Do I need to do that? I don't think so. Uh, let's try something else. Since back isn't working, let's try left, right? Left side. Let's see if I can get it to pick up that way. There it is. There it is. Excellent. It's getting a little nervous there. All right. So if we look at our milk forwarder, wherever it might be, I think it's down here a little bit further. It should hold quite a bit. Yeah, it's at 56,000, and that looks like not even halfway there. Maybe a little over a quarter of a way or so. 30%. Probably about 150,000 liters in that forwarder. That'll work out quite nicely. That will definitely work out nicely. I would rather do that than drive around to each of our production facilities that require milk. Maybe I'll take a look and see what, how they're looking now. Where's, where is our, this is not good. This is not good. Where's our harvester? Where's our combine? What, what's going on here? Did it unload? It unloaded. 
It came back. Why did it stop and not keep going? I don't know. Oh, I see what the problem is. I see exactly what the problem is. We are out of fuel. I think we're out of fuel? Or is it dragging? We're close to out of fuel. Oh, it's stuck on the... <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't know if I've seen that before. Maybe because that thing is dragging a bit more than it should. We might... Oh boy, we might need to consider picking up a bigger combine. It doesn't look good right now, does it? Let me stop it, and uh, I think we're going to have to consider picking up a bigger combine. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to drop you off. We're going to go unload what we have in here. And I think we're just going to have to spend some of that money we got from our clothing and upgrade our combine. Get right in there. There you go. Not far enough? There you go. All right, everyone, I'm going to call that uh, quits for Hinterland for now. I'm going to do a little bit of looking around to see what class combines are available maybe out there in the mod hub. We might just get the end game one as well. But uh, when we get uh, next episode, we should be looking at a new combine finishing up this field. I'm also going to take a look at our milk situation, see if there's any special deliveries I have to do directly to a production facility, kind of take care of the loose ends. But uh, I appreciate you all watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. Make sure you take care of each other. And I will see you all back here on Hinterland real soon. Bye for now.